No. Okay, understood. So I, again, I gotta assume album come out. You even if you got credit on the back of the album, yeah. you didn't you didn't get any monetary credit. It wasn't like royalty checks came to your house. It wasn't like uh you was uh listed with ASCAP or BMI at that time. Nope. I tell you what I did get though. Go ahead. You said, you said ASCAP BMI. I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't signed. I didn't know about no ASCAP, BMIs. I ain't know nothing about that, you know. Um, I actually found out that once we got the uh, TBT, but let me go stay on the track. But um, I was getting a check like every other month type thing from um, what was it? It was from a, it was from one of the guys who owned the, the owned BME with John from mm -hmm. his publisher. It was from his publisher that he that I found out that he was paying me out of. He would give me like fifteen hundred dollars, like every other month type thing. Um, I can't even think of what the publishing was, but it was um, he this guy named Rob McDowell. He would give me, he'll call me that lady. I got checked for you. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't signed no contracts or nothing. So which lets me know that publishing that I was supposed to get from the album was going to you, or uh, going to y'all. Period. And y'all figure get him fifteen hundred every now and then. You know, he, he don't know no better than. Keep him close, keep him cool. So as things went on, that's when I started figuring out, oh, okay, I've been missing out on a lot of stuff. Um, I've been basically, like you said in the hood, I've been got. You know what I'm saying? I've been got, really. I've really been got. So I didn't I didn't figure all that out until like it was it was back in 97, 98. You know what I mean? It was 97, 98. I ain't really figure all that stuff out to like 2003, 4. You know what I mean? Yeah, because by 2003, 4, y'all done had a couple of albums out. You had one album out on Mirror Image. Then you go on over to, to Ichiban and you, you got to put Still your hood. Still didn't sign no contract with Ichiban. Say, say that one more time. Still didn't sign no contract with Ichiban. All it was, we think, hey, we're going to do another album. Okay. We go in the studio. Matter of fact, we go in the studio to do the We Still Crunk album. We recorded it at Two Short House. The whole album for free. We record our whole album at Two Short House for free. We over there every day just about recording our album. And after we record the album, hey, we got to deal with Ichiban. I was like, who is Ichiban? Then I thought about, oh, I remember Ichiban, Kilo, um, uh, Black Dave and and the organization. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I, okay, yeah. I'm like, oh, all right, cool. Still ain't signed no contract with them though. Okay. Oh, this John when signed say, contracts. When you say no contract was signed, I'm assuming you speaking for Lil Bo as well. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's exactly, exactly. Okay, so everything, so everything you hear me say, I'm speaking for Bo too. Okay. Cause Bo don't know nothing about the music. You know what I'm saying? He ain't know nothing about me. He, he played football. He knew sports. So he was looking for me to guide us through this. As I was looking for John to guide us through this. But he was guy himself instead of the, he was out for himself instead of the group. At no point, you know, I get it. You eating the, the first album come out, you got two hits on it. Y'all traveling, you're getting show money. I'm sure you a young man, you happy. Your partner, he's a football player. He's like, yo, I'm actually making money in the rap game. I'm good. But right. at no point, when you, even when y'all went into that second album, whether it was your father, whether it was anybody like, yo, this don't feel right. Like, we need to speak to John. How, how are we not signing a contract? That, like, something's wrong about this. Yeah, the crazy part is... Um... My dad came to me one day. He said, hey, you need me to get you a lawyer or something? This was around about the second album. He was like, you need you, you got a, he was like, you got a lawyer? I was like, nah. Well, cause he had connections from the courthouse and stuff. He was like, well, I know a lawyer, you know, you and I'm, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to be grown. I'm like, I man, I got this, I got this. We good, we good. I got this. He like, all right, okay, let me know. Let me know. Okay, all right. You know, so he you know he was trying, but I'm trying to be like, Oh man, I got this. I got it. 
trying to figure it out as I go, you know, because I ain't thinking about none of that right now. At the time, I'm not thinking about that. Like I said, I'm young, and I'm I'm thinking, okay, this is how I go. This is how I go. But as I got older and deeper in the game, I realized, oh, that wasn't how it went in the beginning. Mm-hmm. That ain't right. So guess what I'm about to do? I'm going to ride the wave on out because if I say something now, it can stop the momentum uh, and what's going on. So go on and ride these, this last contract out that you have signed, that you have signed or whatever, go on and ride it out. Then you just got to go back and recoup for yourself. You know, because I figured out, I found out, yeah, you can do that. Now I found out a lot of people was, oh yeah, yeah, they went back and got that. So ride that on out. Then you're going to come back and go get that. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.